Good morning, WCHS. It's Friday, January 18th, 2008, and you're tuned in to WCTV. For the lowdown on PVTV, the new and improved cheerleaders, and a closer look at the hard work the show choir has been doing, stay tuned. We're glad you could all join us for the 14th edition of WCTV this year. We hope everyone's had an awesome week. Mm -hmm. To start off today's show, we'll be taking a closer look at the projects that students have been involved in at one of Webster City's elementary schools, Pleasant View. Today, WCTV is lucky to be joined by some very special fourth graders involved in PVTV. <laughs> WCTV's own Bailey Anderson has been pa passing the mic around at Pleasant View to get the story of what PVTV is all about. Good morning and welcome back to, from the weekend. I'm Bailey. Today is Monday, January 7th, day two. Here's Genesis with the pledge, three Bs, and our student highlights for the day. You're used to seeing me on WCTV, but Mr. Nigemeyer recently gave me a promotion. At least that's what he told me. This isn't really my new home. Mr. Nigemeyer just sent me here to check out the competition. When the bell rings and the kids rush into the school, the fourth graders get back to business. When do you tape PVTV and when is it on air? We usually tape it right after lunch and then we air it the next morning as the morning announcements. How long does it take to tape PVTV? It varies on the day, usually about 10 to 15 minutes as long as everybody reads well. When was PVTV started? It was started about 10 years ago by Mr. Duncan. The information that is put on PVTV is based on what is going on around the school, featuring a word of the day and other things that make it into the great production that it is. It's just that I like to like think that I'm actually on TV for PVTV, and I like to talk to my other friends on PVTV. I like when you get recognized in student spotlights and it helps you become better readers. This benefits the students involved with PVTV because they become more confident and become better readers. This also benefits the viewers as well. What's your favorite part about PVTV? I like the word of the day in the books. When they, when they say what we're having for lunch. They tell us the Mr. Sharp person. Who knows, someday you might see some of these kids on WCTV, but until then, they'll keep practicing and getting even better through PVTV. I'm Bailey Anderson reporting for WCTV, and you never know, there's a lot of kids I could be scouting today in the future. Thank you, Bailey. Good morning, w Webster City High School. I'm Alex. And I'm Riley, and we are just two of the fourth graders in PVTV. We decided to give Kelsey and Kathleen a little break. So, Alex, have you been to any of the basketball games or wrestling meets this year? Yeah, and it's exciting that all of the Lynx teams have been working hard this year. But they're, they aren't the only ones who have been work hard at work. The Lynx cheerleaders have been very busy, busy training for the games and meets this winter season. Carl Moen has the, middle, the inside scoop on the cheerleading makeover. From thunderous footsteps in the hallways to these practicing cheerleaders, the effects of the cheerleading makeover are all over the school. What exactly is a cheerleading makeover? The New World Dictionary states that a cheerleading makeover is the point in time when the cheer coach switches from Coach Tanner to Coach Olson. Every day after school, Coach Olson leads the cheerleading squad and laps around the school and various stretches for all the cheerleaders to perform at their personal best. What do you like best about the new style of cheerleading practice? We're improving on jumps, motions, flexibility, and technique, and everything in between. What's the hardest part about cheerleading practice? Miles of running, hundreds and billions and trillions of crunches, kicks, crunches, push-ups, stairs, respect, <laughs> chair sets, <laughs> and everything else in between. Corralling all these cheerleaders must be pretty difficult work. Webster City High School recruited the help of Coach Olson to lead the cheerleading team. In what ways have you changed the cheerleading program? 
Well, I like to think that I've taken the girls and I've helped them develop a better self-image um, by improving their abilities to be better cheerleaders. And hopefully that they've become a little bit more in shape with the exercises that we've been doing and just to become better people all around as they become better cheerleaders. The cheerleading makeover seemed like a very necessary part to the cheerleading program at WCHS. I'm glad I was here to witness this awesome transition. This is Carmo for WCTV. And I gotta go. Thanks, Carl. The cheerleaders put a lot of effort into their training and practices, and it looks like it's really paying off. So get out and support the Lynx cheerleaders at any of the basketball games or wrestling meets. <laughs> Tonight, the boys and girls basketball teams face off against the Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears in Algona. Girls start at 6.15 and boys will follow at 7.45. Good luck to the wrestlers on Saturday at the North Central Conference Wrestling Meet in Clarion Goldfield. Bring us back a championship trophy, guys. <laughs> Kathleen. Kathleen, do you know who else has an upcoming competition? No, but can you fill me in? The show choir. The show choir will be performing at the Iowa Lakes Jazz and Show Choir Festival in Esterville on January 22nd. Megan Brandt has been waking up early to take a closer look at the show choir. While the rest of Webster City High School is asleep in their beds only dreaming of stardom, the 46 members of the Webster City Show Choir are awake and shining at 7.15 each Wednesday and Friday morning to perfect the multiple songs for their upcoming competitions. In addition to the twice a week morning practices, the already involved and time consumed members are hustling after their other practices to get to the Monday night practices from 7 to 9 p.m. During the spring of 2007, second year course instructor Mrs. Farley, two judges, and choreographer Jeff Muller watched and evaluated over 80 kids that auditioned for this school year. Practices began in October. What sort of kids do you look for to be successful in show choir? Well, I look for students that are really committed to the program, but mostly I look for really outgoing students that are just willing to be crazy and funny and um, will sing out and not be embarrassed. In all, 22 ladies and 20 gentlemen make up the singers and dancers, and four more are in the band and help with the props. What made you interested in show choir? Well, I like singing, and trying to dance is pretty fun. And practices aren't always the most fun, but the contest where it's at, they're really fun. What would you say to people who said that show choir is only for girls? Say, can a girl do this? They start to sing like ba 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 da they are singing with real good swag. Dating back to the early 90s, Webster City High School has conjured many interesting themes to strut their talents to the community and major judges at competitions. What is the theme for this year's show choir productions? It's called Electric, and um, it's taken from... I sing the body electric is one of the names of the song, and then Eric Greenlee is playing the electric guitar in one of them. And um, it's just really upbeat and lots of energy. We're doing a swing tune and a Latin tune, so we just thought electric was very appropriate. On January 28th, the show choir will venture to Forest City to expose the hard work and talents of the group in the State Show Choir Festival. Preceding the state competition, they have many more renowned competitions to take part in. I'd like to thank the band members for all their hard work, for our show choir managers, I couldn't do it without you, um, for the vocal boosters, for all their support, and for our many supportive parents, and of course, all our happy students. Thanks, Megan. Good luck to the show choir at their upcoming competition. That's all we have for you today. Tune in next week for an in-depth look at WCTV. We would like to thank PBTV for, the, for coming and visiting today. Mm -hmm. And to Riley and Alex for helping us out at the Anchor Desk. See, See you, you next week. week.